she got a booty. This was the original waifu of Final Fantasy XIV. <clears throat> Damn right she's huge! <laughs> oh, I am going to take your kneecaps, and there's nothing you're going to do about it, Garuda. Here we go. <laughs> Let me pull her over here. G. 
You have no hope here. None! The one true god. <laughs> yes, let's go shank them. You should be mine! Ha ha! This is the second time that someone has tried this. That's another crystal for my collection. Y'all are gonna like this next cutscene. Maybe. Maybe. You might. We'll see. We'll watch this. Why do you not tremble at my might? Why do you not beg for mercy? Why do you not die? We've done it. Oh, excuse me. Ah, it's Impossible it is. Kill you all. Is that all? O oh, Lady of the Vortex, O oh, Mighty Garuda. Of all primals, the most terrible, I say again, is that all? Gaius. Ah, uh, Sid, my boy, you look well. For one who has forsaken kin and country, I wonder what else you will forsake before the day is done. What? What exactly did you hope to accomplish here this day? I... Well, I shall accomplish far more.
Is that all? Is that all? Insolent mortal! I shall make you suffer! That foul stench! I see now. She has touched you! Very well. Seven hells, does she still mean to fight? Yeah, she means to fight. Maybe. Or does she mean to do something else entirely? mean to No. No, this is all wrong. Shut up, Redditor. Stop gawping, boy. We must run. <laughs> Surrender yourselves unto me. I would feast upon your ether. None shall stand against the wind. I don't think that's gonna happen. Ooh, what's this? What's Bear this? Witness to the glory of the Empire. You who will suffer, Garuda. Ancient Alec had ways of dealing with your kind. Now, look on their ultimate weapon, Icon, and despair. And crunch. Magnificent. It exceeds all expectation. With each primal it consumes, it grows more powerful. A marvel, is it not? Such is the fate of those who oppose the Empire. There will be no warriors of light to save you this time. If your leaders are as wise as they are reported, they will surrender. Your skills are impressive, but they will not be enough. Joke's on you, Gaius. I have plot armor. <laughs> to 
Weld, have mercy. What chance have we against such an ungodly creation? And who was that armored devil? That was Gaius Van Balsar, legatus of the 14th Imperial Legion and supreme commander of the Garlean invasion force in Eorzea. Of course, the Black Wolf. How could I not realize? Grandfather mentions him in his journal. I was never so naive as to think the man would abandon his ambitions. But these developments are beyond my worst expectations. What have you been doing these past five years? How could something of this magnitude have escaped the Alliance's attention? We heard no whispers, saw no signs. In the wake of the Calamity, the Empire seized land and built outposts. But that was the extent of their aggression. Damn it, guys. Where in the Seven Hells did you find that thing? It has been a day of unexpected developments. But the fact remains, Garuda is no longer a threat. While I take no comfort in the manner of her downfall, it does mean that we may safely put the matter of the Primals to one side. For the time being, at least. Which just leaves the matter of Gaius's new toy. Indeed. Yep, the new that toy. This poses the greatest threat to Eorzea. <clears throat> it must be destroyed. But first, we must needs find out all we can. Let us make for Vesper Bay. We shall rebuild the Scions. All is not yet lost, my friend. For we bear the light, and shall surely lead our people from the darkness. Darkness. <sighs> Jeez, that is a wall of text. Okay. Leave the landing. Uh oh, we gotta go to the Waking Sands. Let's go to the Waking Sands. If I can properly click on the right thing. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna put away my keyboard, because I'm not gonna need it for a while. Hey yo! Uh oh. Okay, I thought my controller broke for a second. We'll go turn that in after this, so that'll be fine. Um. I'm not taking that. Blech. <sighs> Shut up, Ida. I'll take your kneecaps. Let's peek the audio. Dr. Pepper.
Well, of course Cat Mama's still here. Rest. Rest. <laughs> Look, I'm actually resting. Not very often you see your character actually Fear. rest. Feel. Think. Think. The light, the light, it burns. Bringer of light. Brave gatherer of the crystals, thy soul burneth bright. I am Hydaelyn, all made one. Hearken unto me. For the darkness doth begin to spread. Where be the bearer of the crimson brand? For he is the avatar of shadow, whom death attendeth always. The crystals shall be thy salvation, thy blade and shield both. Steal thyself, for at the appointed hour, Thou shalt stare into the heart of darkness. Go with caution, my child, but fear not, for I am ever with thee. Level up.
let's go turn this in real quick since I'm gonna have to teleport anyways at, to the observatorium <clears throat> all it is is just turning this in unlocking a dungeon nothing special Getting a decent ring too. That that's uh actually gonna be a big plus. Alright, so tenacity, skill speed. Um Well this is the one it wants me to have, so this is fine. And Wanderer's Palace. <clears throat> All right, let's go. On to the next area. Ba -da -ba -ba. Like I said before, things are gonna go so much quicker when I can fly. <clears throat> Huzzah! <clears throat> Castrum Sentry? How dare you! We must find them. Ah, fine. We'll find them. <laughs> well, we gotta go rescue them. So. Oh, whoa, another uh, cutscene.
Well. <laughs> My quarters. One hour. Whoo, boy. It's getting spicy. All right. So... I'm going to end this episode here. Like, comment, subscribe if you so choose to. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye!